Hello. This is the third video in a series covering live CDs. You may also have heard them referred to as rescue disc or boot disc. Live CDs are very useful for technicians when they're working on a computer that won't boot into Windows, or if the system is so badly infected that typical antiviruses can't effectively remove them. Live CDs are also great for password resets or recovery, data recovery, and diagnostics. In this video, I'm going to show you Komodo's Rescue CD. And to give you an idea of how the live CDs work, when you have it in your CD drive, you simply restart the computer. When the computer boots back up, it boots into the disk. And I'm going to restart the computer. And this is the menu of Komodo's Rescue Disk. You have Graphics Mode or Text Mode. When the disk first boots up, you have 10 seconds to hit Enter or your computer will try to boot into Windows. So I'm going to leave enter the graphic mode highlighted and hit enter. Shit. And I'm going to accept the license agreement. And it'll begin by collecting information on the system. And then you have the three options of Smart Scan, Full Scan, or Custom Scan. I'm going to click on Smart Scan for the video. And while the scanner is updating and scanning, there's a My Documents folder up here in the corner if you open that. And select the hard drive that has Windows installed on it. Now you have access to all the files within the Windows operating system. If I were to go to Documents and Settings, Right now I only have one user in the Windows 7 operating system, and that's Win 7 Pro, so I'm going to open that. And now I have access to all the user's files and folders. You also have access to the terminal, and you can take screenshots. And up at the top where it says Applications, if you clicked on that, again you have access to the terminal. You have the PC Man File Manager. You can configure networking. There's a web browser. You can configure your preferences. And then once again, the screenshot. And it's still scanning. So I would suggest downloading it, burning it onto a disk, and then just kind of playing around with it, learning how to use it. If you're having troubles burning it onto a disk, or if you don't know how, please see my video on Image Burn. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.